you have four minutes. Thank you very much, Las Cahirach, and very welcome, Minister. It's good to see you in the House. Um, thank you for this opportunity to raise this issue that many, many people have been contacting me about in recent days and weeks, and indeed many of my colleagues across all parties have been raising it also. I must stress my disbelief when I heard the COVID centre in Dundalk was to close and RD was to become the test and hope for the county. The county that holds the two largest towns in the country and neither town will have a COVID test and centre. This comes at a time when the electoral area of Dundalk Carniford has unfortunately one of the highest rates of COVID in the country, 14 day average of 132 per 100,000. The HSE have closed the testing centre in Mahevan and Moore in Dundalk and a new testing centre will be located in St Bridget's RD, 25 kilometres away. To me and most of the population in, in North Loud, this doesn't make any sense. And according to a recent statement by the, issued by the HSE, the move is due to an assessment location undertaken as part of the HSE test and trace operational model. RD was found to, be, to meet the best, best meet the criteria for testing centre in Loud, and tra as travel times from both and Dog and Drada are less than 25 minutes. And I feel this rationale for the HSE is using is very is very narrow. I absolutely accept the HSE when they say the hospital in RD will provide fit for purpose facilities, fully operational, will, will provide increased capacity, um, and it will be a great service for the geographic great geographic area that it practically serves. However, this new location will mean that people from Dundalk and North Loud will have to further for a travel a further distance if they are referred for testing. For someone living in Omeet, North County Loud, they will have to travel a round trip of an over 90 kilometres. In a situation where you're supposed to limit your movements, your contacts, when the HSE are sending people on a 90k trip, that doesn't really make sense. If you're in North Loud, from North Loud going to RD, you possibly need to take a toilet, toilet break for example, you're going to use public facilities and then maybe you're going to put some people at risk by doing that. Also the population of Dundalk who could have been to a testing centre in minutes from their homes are now travelling with symptoms to an RD, to, to RD, a town that has really low numbers. RD is a 14 day average of 27.6 per 100,000. The testing centre, whilst welcome for RD and their surrounds, is impractical for citizens of North Loud, especially considering the highest incidence of cases in North Loud. It often seems to be the case that the border region, border towns, tend to be overlooked and really this has to end. The border has been there for 100 years now and it's time to remember the inhabitants. We have problems with many health services and it could, like, it could take eight hours to get an ambulance to North Loud as well. So this lack of thought of, in relation to the location of the border really needs to... To, um, to change. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, Senator, thank you very much for, for um, asking this particular question. And I suppose as, we, as today is our first day of, of, of Level 3, the whole country has entered into Level 3, um, it, it's very, very timely. Um, a comprehensive, reliable and responsive testing and tracing operation is central to our public health strategy for continuing and slowing the spread of COVID-19. And I should have said at the outset I am taking this on behalf of Minister Donnelly. Capacity is in place to test 15,000 people a day and overall the system is working well. Rigorous contact tracing, automatic testing of close contacts, serial testing in high-risk environments and large-scale testing in outbreak situations means we are proactively finding more cases than we would have previously. In recent weeks, we have increased resources significantly as demand has increased. We are testing more people than ever before, especially in the community, with over 93,000 people who were swabbed in the last week. This included the opening of additional community testing centres and mobile pop-up testing units, significantly increasing contact tracing teams and increasing laboratory testing. A new static testing swabbing centre in RD commenced operations yesterday, the 6th of October, and together with the facility in Slane, is offering test appointments to members of the public from Loud and Meath seven days a week, as you have said. Combined, they offer in excess of 750 appointments daily. The RD centre replaces the previous temporary centre in Dundalk. RD is now the default location for appointments for those referred from Loud. If there are capacity issues, then Slane would come into play. However, capacity in RD will ultimately be approximately 50% higher than the previous Dundalk facility, so this is not forecast to happen. The HSE advises that current demand nationally and also in the Loud Meat centres is being met, so at present there are no plans for a pop-up testing centre in Drogheda. However, referral demand in any area is subject to ongoing review by the HSE and evaluation against available capacity. This includes actions such as extending opening hours and adding testing stations to existing sites. The increased capacity in Loud is a clear example of the response to demand being actioned. 
For example, on the 16th of September, 761 appointments were offered across the two loud meat facilities, whereas two weeks previously, these two centres offered a combined 450 appointments, um, approximately. In the last seven days, for the entire CHO8 area, 57% of referrals were offered a same-day appointment, with a further 40% getting an appointment the next day, and the median time of six hours from referral to appointment. The HSE is now finalising a, a, a future model for testing and tracing. This will aim to deliver a patient centre accessibility, consistent and flexible service. It includes recruitment of a permanent workforce, which has already commenced, and a range of other service improvements which will be rolled out quickly. Transition to the new model is underway and will continue through the autumn. As part of this, a comprehensive assessment of community testing swabbing locations is being undertaken by the HSE. Criteria considered includes, includes um, suitability and sustainability of the location as a long-term testing centre, as well as travel times to test centres. Now, I do take on board, Senator, the points you made about people travelling, that they could have a 90 kilometre round journey if they had to stop to use facilities. So I do take on board that. Um, the HSC are constantly looking to improve the responsiveness of the testing and tracing system further, and will keep demand and capacity under review. Uh, Senator. Thanks very much, uh, Senator or uh, Minister Butter. Um, yes, I absolutely accept that, that you know, there has been a great increase in the availability of testing. And I suppose the main problem with, with the, the testing in RD is not the, ca the capacity, not the sustainability or its service. It's the fact that it's so far away from an awful lot of the constituents in North Loud. And I suppose I, am, I, I, won't be, I wouldn't be satisfied until there is or um, unless there is a, um, a testing centre in Dundalk, because Dundalk, as the main town in County Loud, and I do accept that it is a fantastic service, but just not geographically, um, ha hasn't got the geographic spread that will suit the people of North Loud. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Minister. Um, Senator, thank you for that. Um, as I stated earlier, the HSE advises that we're currently meeting all testing demands nationally across the end-to-end -end tracing process with adequate swabbing and laboratory capacity. Um, the HSE, as I said, has, has had capacity for 100,000 tests since May, about 30% of which were offshore capacity at the time. However, over the summer months, it built laboratory capacity to 100,000 per week on, on the island. In addition to that, the HSE has added a surge capacity of 2,000 per day from its German um, laboratory partner. I appreciate, Senator, the constructive way in which you have tabled the question and, and, and also in your supplementary answer. And I do take on board the, the point you are making that uh, you, know, you, you acknowledge that the, the, the centre is, is, is working very, very well in RD. There is more capacity there. But it's the length of time people from North County Loud would have to travel and I'll take that on board and take it back to the Minister.